facial attractiveness of skeletal class I and class II malocclusion as perceived by laypeople, patients and clinicians. Minerva Stomatol. 2018 Geno 5. Authors, Pace M, Chio Fi I, Danto V, Valletta A, Valletta R, Amato M. Abstract. Background, physical attractiveness is dependent on facial appearance. The facial profile plays a crucial role in facial attractiveness and can be improved with orthodontic treatment. The aesthetic assessment of facial appearance may be influenced by the cultural background and education of the assessor and dependent upon the experience level of dental professionals. This study aimed to evaluate how the sagittal jaw relationship in class I and class II individuals affects facial attractiveness, and whether the assessor's professional education and background affect the perception of facial attractiveness. Methods Facial silhouettes simulating mandibular retrusion, maxillary protrusion, mandibular retrusion combined with maxillary protrusion, bimaxillary protrusion and severe bimaxillary protrusion in class I and class II patients were assessed by five groups of people with different backgrounds and education levels, that is, 23 expert orthodontists, 21 orthodontists, 15 maxillofacial surgeons, 19 orthodontic patients and 28 lay people. Results, straight facial profiles were judged to be more attractive than convex profiles due to severe mandibular retrusion and to mandibular retrusion combined with maxillary protrusion, all P0.05. Convex profiles due to a slight retruded position of the mandible were judged less attractive by clinicians than by patients and lay people, all P0.05. Conclusions, convex facial profiles are less attractive than class I profiles. The assessment of facial attractiveness is dependent on the assessor's education and background. Laypeople and patients are considerably less sensitive to abnormal sagittal jaw relationships than orthodontists. Mid, 29,308,854